Hello my angels, my dears, this is Angel. Welcome to my channel and to another video. There will be no food video today, but I do have a video that I felt is warranted for me to put up. My daughter and I, Janet from Level Up with Janet E, attended the Mahogany Honors yesterday at the Intercontinental Buckhead. It was absolutely wonderful event. They honored 28 women who are renowned in their fields. Please enjoy. Girl, Let Go or Be Dragged is a book by Shanice Truesdale. There was an, um, a raffle going on for this, and guess what? Janet won that raffle. Ms. Truesdale's Instagram is at girl.let.go. Forgot to mention Mother Shut In. Their website is mothershutin.org. These beautiful earrings were bought at one of the black creative vendors outside of the event the artsy girl the website is the artsy girl shop.com and they're also on facebook and instagram these are just a few of the many cards i received inside this beautiful swag bag from mahogany honors Productions and our email is off the chain. Yes. Yes. Wait, 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 let, me, let me say this too. Not only things are starting to happen that is blowing my mind. And y'all, you have to also be careful sometimes too because the enemy be lurking. So you gotta make sure, okay, it's, it's all kind of a, is that for me? Are you supposed to work for the company? And you know, everybody's going to come with God said. Right. And now my thing is, well, let me talk to him and I'll call him back to see if he's ever the same. about the position that we're sitting in is we're not trying to measure up to anything or anyone. We don't want to be the biggest company. We don't want to be the best company. We just want a home for people to be able to come and leave this world with a legacy and not be broke or broken. measure it up to the industry or how much money I can make. Because when you don't, that's when God just starts saying, overflow, overflow. You'll be like, oh, shoot. Checks coming left and right because he's saying, I got your attention. And this is what I gave you will stand on good ground if you continue to follow me. So we have our business. And we're walking in, I'm walking into people that gave up on me a long time. 
Pick up your pen. Pick up the paper. Because I'm old school. I like her still writing my stuff now. <laughs> and so I, as I began to, I didn't know, but God just started giving it to me. Giving it to me. And I called Yvonne the next day. She said, I see you found your cake. I said, I sure did. Let's work. So there will be times when you do go through those moments when God just needs to speak to you. Or he just needs you to sit down. Sit down. Scripture says, be still and know that I am. Come on. Come on. Come on. I ain't about to have church today. Somebody mama started it though. You're free and mom. So please, mama. Here yeah, she came in there and gave me a church hug. Sophia got them good hugs, but her mama got them lower hugs. Is she in the room? Because I, I want to say something to her. She right here. Mama, your hug. I don't know if God sent you, but her hug. And I, I just started crying. And she began to speak into my life. So I want to say thank you. In this room, as you guys walk around and make friends and make connections, make some real ones and keep in touch. Pray for each other. Encourage each other. So I want to say thank you. Because I needed that hug. I don't got my grandmother no more, but it felt like my grandmama hugged so bad.
for this honor, for the recognition, for this room, for this space. Um, it is not taken lightly. I did not plan on speaking. I think you saw all the text messages going back and forth. But I put a post up on Instagram today. Thank you, Steve Jones, my good friend who made it possible for me to know Alexis. I put a post up on Instagram and it was a small quote from Maya Angelou that said, birds sing not because they have the answer, but because they have a song. And as I look at all of the women in this room, I know I'm a creator and I'm an artist. That is what I love, that is what I need, that is what I breathe. But we are all creators in our own right, be it in the tech field, be it in marketing, be it in whatever we do. And the sisterhood, as Fantasia spoke to, that we have and are set out to create in this space and abroad, will truly, truly be our real legacy. We are queens. We are so amazing. And I know how singular my art feels. I know how it feels to just, just I sit in my garden and I just do my thing. But then I realize that my thing does something for your thing. Because I know Egypt, your thing does something for my thing. And when we have rooms like this, thank you to Alexis, we can be refueled and re-energized because we are the pitchers that pour into the cups of the lives that are who we are, the black men, the community. This room are the roots of the community. We are the branches, we are the leaves. So I thank you for your sisterhood, for your work, for your passions in every one of your fields and all that you do. I thank you for your support in me and my little dream. I never dreamt to be honored. I just wanted to be great in whatever I did. So thank you. So yes, I teach you how to manage your money so you can have more of this. You know, so just thank you. Thank you, Alexis. AT&T Dream and Black? Yeah. So the woman who started that is the one and only Miss Angela. She's right here in the front. We had a chance to meet a couple of years ago and Angela has just been phenomenal at doing the work. She's now at Disney doing incredible things. Saw last year at Disney Dreamers. And the thing I love about her is that she's a passionate mother and wife, but also she is a lover of sisters and the sisterhood. She took me to the event, took us backstage, and made, made sure my sister and I knew the incredible work that she was doing. And now, a number of years later, her legacy is there at AT&T but also she's doing super dope stuff at Disney. And she's doing amazing stuff on her own as well. So with that, Angela, please come forward.
She is an amazing woman who is a mother first, then she's a wife, she's a daughter. She had the opportunity to lead and do incredible things at Ford Motor Company, and now she's doing unforgettable things in the food business at Cisco. Please, Roger Register. Come forward. Is impactful. How many of y'all are watching our show on HGTV? She's doing it as a business owner. Now, if Egypt had her way, I would read her entire bio and tell you about all of the incredible, amazing things that she's up to. Her new company, I'm talking about that furniture is not only affordable, but it is fly. So come on up here in Egypt and tell them a little bit more about the incredible work that you're doing. <laughs> and thank you so much, Alexis. In our short time of knowing each other, I am just, I stand in awe of you and how you continuously give us a platform, how you allow us to be seen. Thank you so very much. And thank y'all for all the love and light and for making us number one in 14 countries. <laughs> See, I am menopausal and I cry easy lately. <laughs> I have just kind of written down a few things. Um, I, I will not stand on my bio. Instead, I'm going to stand on my truth right now, which is going to give you a little bit more insight as to why I feel so full today. I was born, like many of you have shared, of a teen mother who did her best in many ways, but we grew up together with statistics telling us that we would not be able to rise from poverty. But we did. I rise. We both survived my abusive father, who at every turn would show love through lashes and tell me I'd never be anything, but I am. I rise. Like so many black women, I was a victim of rape, of brutality, and left to put the pieces of myself back together. And after years of believing that I was damaged goods, I claim my truth back, I claim my light back, I rise. I put the pieces of me back together. How many of you know that we are not what we have been through? Yeah. When the devil meant to break us, God turned around and made us. People will place beauty for ashes. We gotta recognize that sometimes even our darkest of days are by design. Because trust me when I tell you, and I think about just this amazing journey of life that I've been on, it doesn't miss me that I've had such drastic lows so that I could have the audacity to stand here happy, whole, healthy, and healed. Just for this moment, so that the height of my career, I have my beautiful daughter here who just made the top of the student government, y'all. Um, <laughs> so that I could, I could prove the might of God's grace and mercy. So that I could show you that even when everybody else counts you out, if God counts you in, it's on. Thank you, I love you, I am humbled by you. Nothing like
please join me next week for the next culinary related video. Be it a blessing to someone, and as always, many blessings and much favor until we meet again. See you next time.